due to the ongoing protest in nigeria you all know that nigerians has been protesting for many days now in fact i heard that the protest is going to take up to 10 days and you can see that the protest is going on in different parts of the country just look at some of them look at some of this video not only is the protest going on regina daniels the wife of Meg Uko, has come out to address the public i know you must have seen this video but i want you to watch to the end because i have a very important thing to say regarding this video but before i proceed to what i have to say about this her response let us look at what she has to say concerning the ongoing protest currently going on in nigeria let us watch come with me good morning good afternoon good evening whenever you're seeing this video and a happy new month to everyone today is august 1st which is the one of the national protests in nigeria we all know that the masses are suffering we all know that the masses want a better way of living hence the protest and there is nothing wrong in protesting absolutely nothing wrong in wanting a change or a better way of living there is nothing wrong in airing your voices but there is everything wrong in violence once violence gets involved it defeats the whole purpose of a protest so please i urge everyone to try and make this protest as peaceful as possible so that the voice of the masses will be heard and actions will be taken on it and everyone will return to their homes in one piece we have seen series of violent protests we know how it all went all we can hope and pray for is that this protest goes differently and still your voices will be heard and actions will be taken on it once again this is a call for a peaceful protest thank you good day everyone it is day two of the national protest in nigeria everyone is frustrated nationwide with justified reasons and something needs to be done to ease the hearts of the people to avoid further loss of lives and properties nigeria is not a one man's land hence it is not a one man's problem nigeria can only be fixed by the collective efforts of everyone in the government ranging from the president the governor everyone you see you see what is happening in the north hoisting the russian flag is that what we want mind you Whatever happens in the north can get to you. I preached against violence and ignorant Nigerians said, oh, it's because I'm privileged, it's because I'm opportune. Yes, the fact remains that I am privileged and opportuned. But that doesn't stop me from understanding that my nannies needs to be paid extra. Or stop me from understanding that my gate man or my cooks needs to be well catered for because of insecurity and extra bills to be paid in Nigeria. The point remains that Nigeria cannot be changed in a day, and not by one man. I am not speaking for the government, neither am I speaking for you people to love me, because I don't need it. I am just stating the obvious facts, and that's the truth. The earlier we all realize that this protest is turning to something else, the better for us all. And that's it. Okay. Now, Regina Daniels, we have heard you. you have said, you have issued this warning, you've talked to us like we are your children, you've talked to us like you know how it feels like to be hungry, you know how it feels like not to have a job after going to, P after obtaining a PhD degree, obtaining master's, BSc, you said you know how it feels like to all this, to experience this type of things. First of all, before I comment on what is in my mind, let me see how nigerians are reacting to this video let us see what nigerians have to say regarding this thing this her address to nigerians let us watch just read the comments after regina daniels gave this speech a lot of persons have expressed how they feel in the comment section with missed reactions one said if not be net this girl would have been in nasa by acting spider-man and she's making sense if they no kill one big man why father does not be learned seventh wife madam no they shout for me i senior you who is she shouting at the nadanias for president with nadanias honestly speaking you can't relate to what we are passing through talk to those senator wife and so on and so forth <laughs> in fact a lot of persons are just not happy with this thing which nadanias said just read 
the comments. Person we marry, person we senior Nigeria. Wait till ya wo baba do do the talk. Oh my God, there is a lot of things, a lot of reactions. Okay, okay Regina Daniels. When you say you know how it feels like to be suffering and all that, now let me put it to you that this is not a movie. Do you think this is a film? Do you think this is a movie? What do you mean by you know how it feels like? You know what the masses are going through. I put it to you that you do not know what the masses are going through. I don't think you know how it feels like to have loved ones look up to you that you cannot provide for. I don't think you know how it feels like to finish school, to finish master's, PhD, and you cannot afford a job. I don't think you know how it feels like to look at your children and you cannot even afford a meal for them because of the economy, because of the prices of things in the market. And I don't think you know how it feels like to have an aged parent, aged mom that you cannot even support, that you cannot even afford to help them simply because you're not doing well simply because you try all your best but the economy ends up crumbling your efforts just look at me like i started up a transportation business the next thing that happened i took it i took my car to make me and the next thing that happened to the vehicle is that it was vandalized people came there and robbed everything in the car stole every part of the, 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 the engine and everything because of hunger in the land because I know that if jobs are provided, if the economy is a bit stable, at least it will reduce the drastic insecurity we are having in the economy. So I don't think you know how it feels like that the masses, I don't think you know how the masses are coping. Because when we look at you, we know when you grew up, you, don't, you, didn't, you did not even struggle like your mates did. Even in your acting career, you did not struggle to rise to fame. Now let us analyze you let us analyze your history and your biography we know when you started movie and it was your mother that carried you carried you she was already the she was already the agn um leader as a then and she made sure and she carried you and pushed you into movie and again like i said you don't know what it feels like to suffer after that when it was time for you to finally start experiencing adulthood struggles in life your mother pushed you again into Bologna's marriage so it's been enjoyment from your mother's side to your husband's house so don't say you know how it feels like now let me tell you you are not in the right position to address nigerians despite i am not protesting i am not taking it for me because regina daniels you are not in the right position to address nigerians the president has not spoken the the, the wife of the president has not addressed the country then you just came away i don't understand i don't understand how do you think this is a movie do you think you are trying to act to us what do you mean by you know how it feels like to be hungry you that they just gave birth to after they gave birth to you your mother your mother nurtured you into acting, carried you from childhood like that, like that. We are moving up from that acting. She still nurtured you, nurtured you into Bilonia's marriage, and so far, so good. You have been enjoying luxury. I could remember the time when Nigerians could not act, be able to take cash or to withdraw cash when there was uh, there was scarcity of cash in Nigeria. As at that time, we know what you were doing. You were busy flaunting money on your Instagram. You were busy posting and posting and flaunting money. As at then, when you were finally interviewed, like how were you able to get this money? You said you didn't. You don't even know that there was no money in the country. Was that not what you said? That was what you said. So how come you come out from somewhere to tell us you know how it feels like? How are you in the right position to tell Nigerians how to protest and how to react? Do you know, you don't, I, I tell you, you've never been hungry because if you have been hungry, you will know that a hungry man is an angry man. So I put it to you that you don't really know how it feels like to be hungry. You don't know how it feels like to go through school for many years and at the end of the day, you cannot secure a job. And at the end of the day, you have to just do all manner of things to survive. Regina Daniels, how do you think, how do you think your advice will be taken seriously now after you issue the first advice you came out to do the second video and called the nigerians you're advising ignorant nigerians 
Yes. Now, you call them ignorant Nigerians, right? So, now, after you call them ignorant Nigerians, how do you think they will take your advice when the next minute you are showing off pictures in a private jet? I don't know what you guys think about this video, but this is what I have to say about this Regina Daniels comment. Meanwhile, if you like all I'm wearing, if you like my jewelries and everything, I sell them. You can send me a message on WhatsApp. You can chat me up to get a very, very nice jewelries. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.